I'm Doug Coyle. I'm here with Chicago Hounds head coach Sam Harris. Sam, could you tell us a little bit about uh, your style of coaching? Yeah, sure. Th Doug, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, yeah, my style of coaching would probably be uh, relaxed. A relaxed style with detail included in that, making sure that everybody's clear on what their roles are um, from an attacking point of view, you know, defensive point of view, um, you know, through, through other coaches, through... You know their detail in their their forwards and their backs and, and kick strategies, different things like that. So, you know, I, I like to have personal relationships with the players and make sure that uh, I can connect with them and, and kind of ensure that I'm I'm getting the best out of them and, and figuring out what makes them tick and and you know what puts them in the best state of mind to to get to kick off. Um, you know, these guys they sacrifice so much to get on the field every, every weekend. So, um, the feeling of you know. Uh, encouragement and um, just allowing them to play the natural game is probably what I pride myself on. You have uh, eight international spots. You have uh, a number of those taken up with uh, uh, your former Austin players, some uh, LA players. Uh, of course, there's George uh, Thornton that came in from Scotland. Uh, uh, are would you say most of these players are here with families or without families? Just going through them, there's there's yeah a mix of both. Some have got families. Charlie's got two kids. Um, yeah, there's some others that have got kids coming on the way, not here yet. Uh, and then there's a, a few single guys. So I, I don't think it it really I, I don't really take that in consideration when doing foreign recruitment. Just I just recruit on character and ability. Okay. And uh, in what ways I, you're you're regarded as a player centric coach? In what ways do you attempt to work with the players to get the most out of them obviously um yeah highlighting where they can improve as a player but also highlighting where their strengths are and, and how we can develop those and how we can put them in the best position to to um to capitalize on those strengths and i think you know in different areas around you know mental skills you know what do they need through the week to make sure you know, I'm big on the learning environment that I create within the team and what what tools I'm giving them through the week, through the season to, to ensure that you know, they're retaining the knowledge but also um, allowing themselves to play their natural game and, and to evolve as a player and, and to, to, you know, after the end of each season, hopefully a player is a much better player at the end of the season as they were at the start. Thank you for spending time with me, and good luck the rest of the season. You have your home opener in two weeks yep. and then five consecutive home games I do yeah we're looking forward to that we've got a, a great um, groundswell of following that are really excited to have us at, at SeatGeek Stadium so I can't wait for that uh, it's got a great rugby culture Chicago I'm looking to um, to make them proud good luck thanks Sam thanks Doug cheers mate